My name's Craig Feesby, although most of you know me as Butch. Um, I grew up in, uh, in a loving home well, with two great parents that made it a point to start a foundation early in life uh, at a local church. I went through all the routines of, of the traditional church of uh, confirmation and, and attending youth every now and again, but, but that's exactly what I did. I just went through the motions and and I don't feel like I really, truly took anything away from church. And it might have been my age. I was too young to, to really know what I wanted to take away from church. So I bought a house a month out of high school and uh, led to a lot of not so great decisions with, with drinking every weekend and, and not attending church, kind of fell completely out of the church. In 2007, my wife, my girlfriend at the time, invited me to Camp Clay. Uh, for church service. And I remember walking in and hearing the worship band for the first time and, and uh, wondering what she drug me into because I was, it was not part of my comfort zone. I guess I was so used to the hymns and the off key older folks trying to sing around me. But the message was great that day. Matt uh, really spoke to me, spoke to my heart. Uh, I understood after leaving Lifehouse that day that there was a God out there that wanted a personal relationship with me rather than a, a God that judges me. So I never really had a, an exact moment where I gave my life to Christ. It kind of happened over time of being involved in church and uh, I guess I got involved with the host team and production and Womble Land and transit and inside out I guess inside out is where I'm at today uh, but I felt that the more I served the more I became closer with God um, I know that whenever I feel strong with God and I'm spending time in his word and prayer that not just my relationship with Jesus becomes better it, all the relationships around me are a lot better in 2010, Courtney and I got married, and we started a couples group, a small group. And it was with a couple older couples that were further along in their marriage. And it really helped us to create a healthy foundation for our marriage before we really got started. Uh, we were excited to start a family, and, and that didn't exactly happen on our terms. Uh, there was a lot of heartache and unanswered questions and although it, it, it helped us to, to learn to be patient with God's word and that his will will be done over ours. Uh, we eventually had two boys, two healthy boys, and we have a little girl due in February. And it, it's not always, there, there's, there's gonna be trials and tribulations throughout life. And it's just knowing that you have Jesus to have comfort in uh, is really reassuring. I lost my sister, Heather, to breast cancer at the age of 41 this past July. Um, she was an inspiration to all that followed her through her Hope for Heather page and just really showed us that she had a deep rooted faith even while her body continued to fail her. So. For, for that, I, I want to thank her for, for being that inspiration to me. I want to thank Pete Bond for, for being a friend, for being a role model and a mentor to me throughout my faith journey. Um, he really helped me to step out of my comfort zone and, and, and dive into youth and, and other things that, that I wouldn't have normally done. I also want to thank my wife, Courtney, for being a example of what Christ truly looks like and to follow and to seek Jesus. Uh, I thank her for for leading me to to be the leader of our family and leading my boys to have a growing relationship with Jesus at a young age. My name is Craig Feesby and I'm here today to let you know that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. Well, Butch, it's awesome to be with you this morning. Um, when they told me I got an opportunity to, to baptize Butch, I mean, I thought this was such an awesome, awesome privilege for me. Um, Butch, I think 
we got to know each other in that small group. And uh, man, I got to know a guy, I, I didn't know much about you back then. You were just a, a farmer guy. And the more I got to know Butch Feesby, uh, you're uh, such an awesome dude, like a man of God uh, and an incredible father. I remember like in our small group, I think you fell victim to the fact that me being on staff, I asked everyone in our small group to volunteer. <laughs> uh, but I remember just when you decided to volunteer with Transit uh, in our middle school boys program, man, everything changed in, uh, in the way that you just responded to those guys. And I look at those guys now and I see their lives and I see you had an incredible impact on them. And that's all because of your relationship with Jesus and what God has done in your heart when you decided to trust him as your personal savior. So, but I'm personally so very proud of you and thankful to be here with you today. And it's my honor to baptize you if you're ready. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.